Hi, welcome back to On the Water Flies. Today we're going to be tying a pattern known as a hackle stacker. We're going to be using some rabbit dubbing in Adam's Gray. We're going to be using Unithread 6 aught Gray. For the hackle, we're going to be using some Grizzly Hackle uh, in size four, for size 14 hooks. We're using a size 14 Dairiki, uh number 320. And for the tail, we are going to be using some uh, Grizzly Hackle or Grizzly fibers from a longer hackle. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and start our thread on. Once you have that worked on, go ahead and work it back to right about where the barb is on the hook. And from here, You're going to take some fibers from a grizzly hackle feather, longer one, or from the cape, some straight fibers. And we're going to do about the length of the shank of the hook. Let's get those tied in once they're tied in. Trim out the butt ends. Kind of curled up on me when I was tying in there. And just work your way back to right, right for the tail. And we're going to take some the rabbit W in Adam's Gray. Just work it up, uh, W noodle onto your thread. Back that up a little bit. Just a small little pinch. Once you get to this point, what you're going to do is take your opposite hand, put it above your vise, and hold your finger out over the hook. You're going to do about four wraps with this. And take some thread wraps in front of it. Essentially pinching that down so they stay. Basically what you have here is a uh, thread parachute post. If you want to think of it that way. From here we're going to take our grizzly hackle.
get that tied in. And you're going to take your parachute post again. Take your right hand and put your fingers through it or your left hand depending on what's your dominant hand. I always tie with my right hand. Just work it up around Actually, I went up too high there. Once you get it worked up the shank, or not the shank, up the post, just work, work your way back down. And from here, kind of brush all the hackle back and pinch down the end of the feather. Tie it off. As you see, I caught. So my fibers in here so I'm just going to go ahead and trim those out. Tends to happen, takes take some practice getting used to this. We're going to take another pinch of our dubbing. Right, and then with your hackle, you're going to pull it all back, grab the top of your parachute post, or your thread post, I keep saying parachute post, apologize for that. And this is where it gets kind of tricky, because for me, it keeps wanting to move, so I tend to might help if you move the fly so it kind of leans back so it doesn't slip off the front. Do a couple of loose wraps and just kind of pull it tight and pull everything back. Do just a couple turns tight. Do a whip finish and cut your thread there. And from here, just kind of brush your hackle back into place from being bent back and on this fly because the whole purpose of it is it's going to not only act as an indicator for you but it's going to cause the fly to sit right in that surface film so you don't really want a whole lot of these barbs sticking down below the hook so if you have any like I got a couple on here just go through and trim them out And there you have it. That is a hackle stacker. There are different variations of this. Uh, I'll probably do another variation of this here shortly um, where it's a mix between a rusty spinner and this hackle stacker. But this is a good mayfly pattern. It sits low in the water in the surface film. The hackle stacked on top like that makes it look imitate wings and helps it ride right on that water surface. 
So thank you for joining us today on On the Water Flies, and I'll see you next time.